Yo, what is going on everybody? Shri Kanasa here. So how to drop ship from eBay directly onto your Shopify store. Now in 2020, we have seen all of the problems that slow shipping times have started to create. And because of everything that was going on in the world, especially during this time period, a lot of people kind of just started to get sick of the slow shipping times. So I personally believe that towards the end of 2020 and early 2021 and onwards, with Shopify drop shipping, you're going to have to find different ways to ship out your products in order to provide customers with a better experience. Because without offering a better experience, without having quality products, drop shipping is going to become very, very difficult, especially because nowadays with the increased competition due to everybody sitting at home, everybody's basically trying the same thing. And that is drop shipping from AliExpress. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I drop ship from eBay directly onto my Shopify store while maintaining amazing profit margins and also get returning customers on a daily basis simply because of the fast shipping and quality products I often provide them. But without wasting any more time, let's just jump right into it. So the first thing you'll have to do before you guys find any type of value from this video is to just destroy that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. It'll take just two quick seconds. Okay, hopefully I've done that. But how to drop ship from eBay directly on Shopify. The first thing we're gonna have to start talking about is of course, product research because a lot of people get stuck up on this idea that because you're selling from eBay, there's a bunch of different strategies available that you should be using to find products which you can sell on Shopify from eBay. And that is far from the truth. When it comes to product research for Shopify and for using eBay, here is exactly what I recommend. So there are three main websites nowadays, which I use to do my research. It doesn't really matter which websites you use. However, you can use whatever website you're most comfortable with. As long as that website can provide you solid products, which are sourceable, it's a good idea to use that. But the three main websites, which I'm referring to are of course, AliExpress, Amazon and eBay. Now these three websites I use very, very differently compared to a lot of other dropshippers because first of all, if we start with AliExpress, I mostly look at the AliExpress flash deal section because within this flash deal section, I've found some of my most winning products. And I believe that this is much better than using any other part of AliExpress. If we look at the AliExpress flash deal section, it is simply this one right here. You can access it directly from the AliExpress homepage. Just go ahead and click on flash deals and you'll be able to see it. But as you can see a wide variety of products that you can find on AliExpress, which you can then go on eBay to try to source. And I'll be showing you guys more into that very, very soon. But AliExpress is the first product which I use to do product research. Again, the next website I mostly use is Amazon. Now on Amazon, there's a wide variety of different sections which you can actually use to do product research. Some of my most favorite ones are first of all, Amazon daily deals slash holiday deals. Right now, since we're in the holiday season, when I'm recording this video, it currently says holiday deals. But in addition to that, you can use what sections like Amazon movers and shakers, Amazon new releases, Amazon gift ideas, etc. A quick Google search will lead you to those sections, but those are amazing ways to find winning products, which not everybody has access to because not everybody uses that website to do product research like that. The next section, which I personally like to use most often is the eBay daily deal section. And in order to find that section, all you have to do is go on eBay.com and the top left, it'll say daily deals. That's exactly what you want to click on in order to find those products, which are currently on deals, which you can then try to sell directly on your Shopify store. But those three websites are the main websites, which I personally use to do product research. Now, the most important thing you may be wondering is exactly what do I look for in a product when I'm trying to drop ship from eBay on Shopify. And the answer is the specifics of that product will depend on which advertising platform you plan to use. So when it comes to Facebook, all of the criteria remains the exact same. You want to be trying to find products which are useful and quirky or simply solve a problem and have less than five to 10 dropshippers selling that same exact product. This has always remained the same regardless of which website you sourced a product from. And with eBay, however, you also want to make sure that when you're trying to sell on Facebook, if you do happen to have competitors for this product or other people selling something similar to this, you want to try to match their pricing or sell around their pricing instead of just marking up the price by how much ever you want, such as two times or three times, because this is going to lead you to the best possible results. If you're on the other end of the spectrum and trying to sell via Google ads, you want to be looking at the same criteria as I always mention in my other Google ads videos. The first one is 20 to 25,000 monthly searches followed by three to four minimum SEO keywords. You can find these keywords 
via the Google Keywords Planner tool and the minimum is three to four. However, you want to have as many as possible. The third and most important criteria is you want to have less than five dropshipping competitors selling for that product or that keyword when you do a Google search, because otherwise it may be quite a bit of a saturated product. It may not lead you to the best results. So always make sure that you're following these three main criteria. But this is the basics of how to do product research. Again, nothing has really changed. Instead of using just AliExpress to do product research, you're going to be directly utilizing eBay and Amazon and AliExpress as well to simply then find products which you can source on eBay. And to show you guys a very clear example, we're going to go on to AliExpress to look at one of the most famous products, which is the IPL laser hair remover. Now, this product has already been drop shipped a lot. It may not be a good product to drop ship right now. However, for the sake of this example, we're going to be using it. So as you can see, this supplier right here is selling this product for around $32 shipping from China and with the US plug, the total is around $32.90. However, what you want to do after you find a product and it could be found on AliExpress or eBay or Amazon is to again go on eBay, simply type in the main keyword related to that product. In this case, IPL laser. And once we do that, we can see a wide variety of products come up under that keyword. Now your main goal should be to find a very similar product to what you just saw, or what you can do is if you find something that looks much, much more higher quality, for instance, if you think this is much more higher quality, you can then go ahead and do research into that to see if there's competition for that, regardless of whether you're using it on Facebook and or Google. And then once you figure out that info, simply price it accordingly and try to sell that product. But when you do start getting orders for the product, you're simply be going to this eBay link and you're going to be buying the product directly from this seller right here. As you can see, shipping it's guaranteed by Tuesday, November 24th and this item location is in Florida. So that means we're going to be getting US shipping for this product compared to just paying a similar price or the same price just to have it shipped from AliExpress from China. I would take the first option any day and that is simply to have the product shipped from eBay from a US warehouse. And the beauty about drop shipping from eBay is that you don't have to just stick to one product, you can stick to different designs as well. As you can see, this is a similar product to what we just saw on AliExpress. If we continue scrolling, we can see that there's a wide variety of different options available. This one is for $41.99. This one looks very similar, $59. You do have a lot of options available. And what you want to do if you do you like a product that you want to consider selling is to simply mark up the price based on what the pricing is here on eBay. So as we can see, a lot of these eBay sellers are selling this similar product for around $40 to $50, maybe up to 60. So what you want to do is you want to take that into account and then increase the pricing based on that instead of having this price right here, because as we can see, the eBay price is slightly higher. This is not always going to be the case. In fact, I've had a lot of winning products where the eBay price is actually much, much lower than what it is on AliExpress. So that is a benefit of selling on eBay. However, sometimes you will have to pay a little bit extra, but that also gives you the option of increasing the overall cost that you're charging to your customer and char getting more profits as a result while providing faster shipping and faster service. And this is just going to have people coming back again and again to purchase from you, which is why it's such a big advantage. But that is the general idea of how you're supposed to be dropshipping from eBay onto AliExpress. But there are more techniques that you need to be using along with that. And the second thing we're going to be talking about is the product requirements, because these requirements are actually very important. You need to be making sure that these requirements are met if you want to be continuously drop shipping from eBay successfully. The first one is related to stock. Now on eBay, a lot of the times, if you go on any random eBay link, for example, if we go here to this high adjustable workbench, we can see that right now it says more than 10 available. That means this product is in stock for this given seller and they have a lot of stock available. Compare that to maybe just this one right here where all it simply says is 10 available. Now this is a big problem and this is something I have written on the Google Doc. You want to be trying to find those sellers and th those listings where it actually says more than 10 available or if it says something like limited quantity available, that's okay as well. And that's simply because if there are only 10 available and 10 other people purchase this product, then this product will go out of stock. If nobody else is selling it, you're going to have a lot of trouble getting orders fulfilled for this product. So in order to prevent that, I normally like to make sure that it says either more than 10 available, like it does here, or if it says limited quantity available, these two are the acceptable ones. So always make sure that this criteria is met before you do anything else with that product. But now once you have confirmed that here are two options that you have 
when it comes to drop shipping from eBay, the option number one is that you want to first, before you buy anything, before you even list it on your website, message the eBay seller directly and simply type in this message. And this message is, I'm planning on drop shipping your product directly on my e-commerce website. Do you support drop shipping? And if so, are you able to handle large amounts of orders consistently? This message is very important to send because not every single supplier can do that. And especially if you find a product like this where there's only a certain quantity available, but you really want to sell that product, it's going to be a problem if you don't message them directly. So this is the first option you have of drop shipping from eBay. I would just simply click contact seller if I really want to sell this workbench and make sure that they have more quantity or at least more quantity is on the way. So you can then just list this product on your website. Because again, listing it on your website is the easy part. The hard part is actually making sure that you have enough stock to continue ordering from this seller. So always make sure the seller has enough stock or if this seller is out of stock, make sure to try to find other sellers on eBay selling that same exact product. And this is very easy to do. Simply copy and paste some of the main keywords, which are related to the product. As you can see, adjustable work table bench, maybe a main pro keyword for this product that could lead you to more results similar to this one. But that is option number one for you. Now there's another option. If you really don't want to spend time just contacting them back and forth. And this option is something I do more often, something I do more often. And that is to simply purchase directly if the stock requirement matches in this case, more than 10 available. Once you have confirmed that, then what you want to do is while you're ordering, you want to put a little message to the seller. And this message should say, please do not put any invoices, QR codes, promotions or your brand name logo in the shipment to send as a gift. Please ship as soon as possible for repeat business. Thank you. This message again, very important while you're doing the ordering simply because it'll let the supplier know not to include any kinds of invoices or notes, which they may include if you don't put this message. And if they include that invoice, your buyer is going to know that this product came from eBay and that could lead to more problems. So in order to avoid that, make sure you include this message in every single order that you place from the website. But this is normally the option that I take. I don't normally do option number one because I always tend to find a similar product or the same thing from multiple different sellers. But if you do have trouble with that, you wanna go ahead and do option number one. But what do you do once you have done all of this and you're starting to get consistent sales from one product which you source directly from eBay? What you wanna do is you wanna start placing a mix of orders from your eBay account as well as using an incognito window and checking out as a guest. So for instance, what we're going to do is we're going to go onto an incognito window, type in the main URL for that product so that this product comes up. And once you land on it, make sure that you're not signed into any eBay account. Then go ahead and click on the buy it now button and click the second option, which is check out as guest, because this will let you check out without attaching your eBay account to this purchase. The main reason why we do this is because when you start placing multiple orders from your eBay account, especially for orders that get shipped to different addresses every single time, eBay starts to think of that as suspicious. And because of that, they may start to limit your account and cause problems. So in order to avoid that, you wanna have a mix of orders done both from your eBay account as well as checking out as a guest. If you start to scale a given product from eBay, you can go ahead and contact the seller directly, let them know what's going on and see if they can add you on Skype or if they can accept CSV files of the order. So what you can do is email them the CSV file and they'll attach all of the shipping info, get it all shipped out and then send you back the file with all the tracking numbers. This is another great way to have a lot of orders done fast. But in addition to that, if you don't want to stick to Skype or CSV files, you can simply use different emails while checking out as a guest to make sure that not the same email is used every single time to cause suspicion, or you can change the credit or debit card. This is not really required. I don't see this as a big problem, but it could be a big problem, especially if you're doing hundreds of orders every day. So you want to make sure to try these things out. And the second thing you can do is check out as a guest, plus also place orders from your eBay account while changing the credit cards or debit cards used, maybe alternating between the PayPal accounts. But again, this is mostly a problem if you have a lot of orders per day, and that means over 100 or so per day. But in that case, you want to definitely contact the seller, try to see if they offer CSV files or directly contact via Skype. But this is the general strategy as to how you can start selling from eBay directly onto your Shopify store. This is exactly what I recommend in 2021 and onwards if you really want to build a sustainable business while providing quality service. If you found any type of value in this video, smash that like button and smash that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.